Today I need to go and get some food shopping because I don't have a lot in in the way of things that I can eat just now, <laughs> um, aka not processed. <laughs> um, so I'm really fancying getting some fish, I need to get some more salad and maybe have a look and see what other things I can get. I don't really know what I'm fancying to eat just now as it is still early. Um, and I have, I do have a little bit of a list going on so hopefully it's not going to come to too much. Unfortunately, I got an email yesterday from my letting agency saying that our rent is going up. So I'm going to have to <laughs> contact them and see if we can come to some sort of um, agreement for the payment because obviously we are on housing benefit. I don't know what the excess that I, well, we are going to have to pay. So I also need to do that. That was the first thing that was on my mind when I woke up this morning. I was like, oh, this is not a good start, but it, it's nothing too much to worry about. At least I don't think it should be, it should be fine, manageable. Um, I think is the word I'm looking for. And I just noticed that my <laughs> lips are looking very pale. So I'm gonna put some lipstick on. This one is from, believe it or not, it's from Poundland. And it's actually become my favoriteest of lipsticks. I used to like ones from Primark, but I've really taken a liking to this. I wasn't too much of a lipstick person before and was really like into wearing lip glosses or just tinted lip balms, but this colour is so nice and it's only a pound, so... <sighs> I'm just gonna pop some on. I don't know. I'm trying to like maybe use the mirror <gasps> But maybe I should just use the camera <laughs> Make my lips just you know a little bit more noticeable. <laughs> I'm not quite so almost skin colored. Oh My golly, this is harder than I thought it would be trying to put lipstick on <laughs> there we go it's not too much it's not quite as like orangey as it's like uh, um, when it applies the, this colour is more true to the actual colour. I don't understand why it's turned more of a orangey kind of pink. But yeah, a pound from the Poundland brand, which is Makeup Gallery. Is that upside down? Yeah. <laughs> this particular colour is called Daring in case anybody might have been interested. The makeup that I use is almost always the same. I very rarely give anything else a chance. But I have been just, you know, over the past like year or so, a little bit more adventurous with my makeup choices. Um, whilst before I used to wear like pretty bright-ish colours around my eyes. I'm just, I'm more into the natural look now. I think it must be like an age thing. I don't know, but this is currently my preferred look. <laughs> not too fussy, not too much going on. Just, you know, the right amount of effort, I think. <laughs> I'm not really into like the cheek thing or too much, um, 
too much fussing I just I don't have time for it I don't and I don't really have the patience or really the desire to be <laughs> sat in the mirror for an hour staring at my face I can't I can't do it that is us back in from Sainsbury's they didn't have any red peppers, big shocker, but I did manage to get everything else that we were currently needing, so I'm happy about that. It was a little bit scarce on the fish front, but I've managed to find two mackerels that had a really good date, so I'm going to be having those today and tomorrow because I didn't really have all that much yesterday um, in terms of what I could eat during this little challenge that I've set for myself so I'm super happy about that. I picked up two of these because I've I had <laughs> past tense had one of these in my backpack for at least maybe three weeks and I just forgot about it so I'm like you know what I'm just gonna use it um so yeah we are going to scratch those off the angle for this is a little bit awkward, but this is literally the best way for me to do it without holding anything up. <laughs> so we are looking for a boat or a plane. Nope, nothing there. matching symbols oh my golly <laughs> oh my god we just won 50 oh my god. five zero <laughs> holy holy smokes that's never happened in the history of forever oh my golly <laughs> fun okay <laughs> All right, so let's do the next one. Uh, a boat again, or a chest. on one when you won 50 on the other that's that's amazing that's literally the most I've ever won so super happy about that that can go towards the shopping so as you can see it is freezing for me so I have had to put on a hoodie it's not the greatest color on me I'll be honest but it is doing what I wanted it to do um, I'm just in the process of making up my salad and I'm going to be having three eggs again and I'm also I wasn't intending to but actually I feel like it would be a good idea for me to add half a can of the mixed bean salad just to kind of bulk it out a little bit more I'm going to be having some onions of course <laughs> and gherkins and I also cut up a little bit of extra cucumber and those are just some little tomatoes because I want it to be as big as possible to try and last and keep me fulfilled and satisfied for as long as possible and you know lessen the chance of me feeling like I want to go ahead and eat some nonsense which I'm not gonna do but you know when you get that feeling like you want to eat whatever you can get your hands on it can be quite annoying especially when you're trying to be good <laughs> 
so this is my finished salad what I'm going to be having as my lunch I did have a couple of bananas beforehand but that's absolutely fine because bananas are not processed <laughs> um, I also have some babas I'm going through this super fast so I might have to go and get some um, either towards the end of this week or maybe sometime next week I don't know we'll see how we fare first I think so we are going to do a review of some wild deodorant I've been wanting to try this for at least a good while now I'm pretty sure it was since I saw that they had a fragrance that was called purple rain unfortunately they have sold out of purple rain on their website at the moment I hope that they'll get it back in stock although I did get the five pack so I'm probably not going to be needing these for at least a little while but maybe we'll see so as you can see I picked the gold case um, yeah that's what it looks like inside without the deodorant pack which is kind of this size it's quite small this one is lemon basil and blood orange it smells really really nice yeah it's good <laughs> it's very lemony um and really pleasant so that's the first one that i got um i did obviously pick the five that i wanted to be included in this pack oh my golly this smells amazing the next one is hopefully it's coming up rain forest oasis it just smells so natural it's so nice and this one is pink grapefruit <laughs> and lime let's give it the sniff test this might actually be my favorite one I absolutely adore grapefruit um, okay um it says lift me up to uncover the truth about bathroom waste I don't know what that's about but I'm pretty sure the other two are underneath like so I like how it's got the instructions on the inside of the box and hasn't really included any other kind of paper that will just end up in the bin or preferably the recycling bin. <laughs> um, I think this is pretty new, like I think it's like maybe last summer when I started seeing advertisements for the shower gel and I'm pretty sure also that the shampoo and conditioner is fairly recent although I can't really remember seeing an advertisement for that I may very well, <laughs> very well may have done this <laughs> this is so nice it's the elderflower and watermelon spritz it smells exactly like walking into a florist <laughs> just that lovely fresh flowers kind of smell and the last one that i picked this time round is the ocean mist I can't decide 
honestly, I think for me, they are all gorgeous, but I can't decide whether it's going to be this one or this one that's going to be my favourite. <laughs> so lush, it really is. And it's that nice natural smell, no chemically weird smells that I've said a lot about in the past that I really do not like. So let's try and figure out how we get the little cartridge into the actual container. Okay, so I managed to get the outer casing off and I've just popped in the one that I think I'm gonna use straight away. Okay. And then how do we get it to come up? <laughs> oh really, it's just a twisty. Okay. And you can see it coming up. Oh, these smell so much better than I ever thought that they would. Very, very nice. Yeah, there's, there's no chemical after scent or anything like that. I Obviously I wanna see how well these fare um, as a deodorant and we will update on this at a later point and I will, you know, give my honest review as to how much better or not better I think it is compared to a regular kind of spray deodorant. I usually use um, either Shaw or Soft and Gentle which is the one that I'm currently using just now so I'm gonna switch to this completely and yeah we'll we'll see what happens. This is my dinner today. I've got two pieces of mackerel, a whole head of broccoli, and the entire contents of a packet of mushrooms because I don't want to mess around when it comes to eating. I'm really feeling quite hungry. So, yeah, I'm going to have to eat <laughs> all of this, even if I don't really feel like I'm going to be able to eat a full head of broccoli. I mean, it shouldn't be too much of an issue, but... I was already fancying something sweet um, before I plated my dinner. I didn't have anything sweet, but I'm definitely feeling a little bit of craving today. Andrew and Jagger had Linda McCartney meat-free burgers, and I really wanted to have the Linda McCartney <laughs> meat-free burgers. <laughs> but, you know, I've set this challenge for myself and we are going to do it. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah, I'm fine, baby. Just eating. It is finally time to call it a night. Well, call it a day, technically. I'm just putting some micellar water onto a cotton pad to start wiping away the day and revealing my true self. <laughs> I have had a fair bit of a sweet tooth this evening and I've been distracting myself as best possible really and I have been doing quite a lot to redirect my attention. I had three small clementines after dinner. I haven't had anything else, but you know what's funny? It's like this morning 
when Andrew and I were out, we were passing our favourite bakery. And I'm like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I autumn just the thought of it was giving me a friggin' sweet tooth. And I have pretty much carried that the entire day. It hasn't gone at all. And I really wanted to have a cream finger donut from my favourite bakery. And I kind of like, I did have a moment where I was, I did have to talk myself down a little bit. <laughs> no, we don't need cream finger donuts. We really don't. Sometimes cravings go away fairly quick for me. And other times I get the little wormy in my head telling me that, oh no, we're, we're not going to stop until we eat this. Which is something that's actually pretty common um, when you are beginning a new diet, um, making a lifestyle change. It can be quite irritating, to say the least. Because <laughs> it's, it's sort of, one half of your brain is saying, go on, eat it. You know you want to have some, just do it. Okay, this is what we're used to. We're used to having what we want. We're going to do it. We're going to keep talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and niggling you until you give in and we get that boost, <laughs> that uh, hit, if you will. But no, my, um, my willpower has been strong. We don't need the sugar whichever side of my brain is responsible for that. We don't need the sugar, okay? <laughs> Day three of 33. It's gone by pretty fast. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of thinking like when it actually comes to day 33 itself, I'm probably going to be at a crumbling point by then. <laughs> For all I know, I could be in a crumbling moment from tomorrow. <laughs> but, you know, we'll see how we go. I'm determined to do this. My willpower can only get stronger the more I tell my brain my body, whatever it is that's responsible for these sugar cravings that, no, it doesn't matter how much you scream and cry, we're not doing it, okay? <laughs> Go cry about it. <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to quickly wash my face brush my teeth and then I really want to get into some pa some pajamas or oh, whatever's gonna constitute as pajamas right now it was super cold last night and I actually went to bed in a long robe and Jagger had his fleecy pa spongebob pajamas on because <laughs> it was just so bitter it was been bitter all day but before I, sorry, I had a really bad itch. <laughs> before I do that, here is my weigh-in for today. I'm only going to be weighing in on Wednesdays throughout the period of these 33 days that I am not going to be having any processed or added sugar foods. So that's going to be right here. Thank you. 
The weight on the scale surprised me. Um, I thought it was going to be more. Just because I haven't really been keeping track of my weight per se. Obviously, I know all the time what I'm putting into my mouth. But yeah, I've, I've kind of, I was putting the number on the back burner because we keep saying I was very recently unwell and I was already stressed out from being unwell not being able to work out not even just being able to go outside um so yeah my my weight was the last of my problems but you know the the weight is what you have just seen on the scale and I hope that it's going to get better. I would like to be underneath the 14 again. That would be very nice. So we will see what happens with me having such a high vegetable diet. Because that's mostly what it's going to be. There is going to be protein included, obviously, in the, in the way of fish or eggs. But outside of that, it's going to be mostly vegetables. I'm the only kind of carby food that I really want to allow myself is is probably just maybe rice because that is just like a natural food. It's not really processed um, all that much. So I'm going to allow myself that. But outside of that, it's going to be a lot of natural carbohydrates that are already in the vegetables and yeah, la -di da you know what I mean <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say um all the goodness that I'm going to be putting into my system so I'm looking forward to knowing if there's going to be any changes just from that alone tomorrow is supposed to be a workout day for me so you know we'll see what happens when that comes. I was having a lot of muscle strain in my legs still this morning. That seems to have tapered off. So I'm grateful for that. It made going and picking up Regina a lot easier. And that is pretty much us for the day. I hope that you have enjoyed this vlog or found some kind of enjoyment from it. And I also hope to see you again very, very soon.